Hello, Jose Carlos. Hello, Dani. Good evening, teacher. Hello. It's a pleasure to see you. We miss you in the last classes. What happened? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we miss you in the last classes. What happened? No. ¿Qué te pasó? Te extrañamos en las clases de la semana pasada, las últimas. Sí, es que uh, I, I have a problem with the cell phone. Uh, oh. It's is because the rain in, in the road. Oh, okay. And, uh, I, I I go into the world. Ah, you Maybe were you were I coming. Go, I going. Uh -huh. It, uh -huh. Going? Ibas para el trabajo yeah. o venías del trabajo? Coming, coming. Viniendo. Ah, I was coming. Uh -huh. It's coming. Okay, very good. Hello, Mr. Jose Humberto. How are you? Pretty good, teacher. I'm very glad to listen to that. Mr. Jose Carlos, how are you? Just fine, teacher. I am driving home, actually. I believe that I will be in my home on the next 10 minutes. Okay, perfect. Be very careful, okay? Be very careful on the street. Hello, okay. Diana. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? A little sleepy. Oh, come on. Did you work? <laughs> yes, yes, I work. Ah, that's why. It's, it's Monday, teacher. I know, it's Monday. Yeah. It's the hard Monday to start. Monday is always hard. Monday, it's hard to start, but, but well, it all okay. depends. It I all depends. Up, I wake up today in the morning at 3.30 a.m. Why? Because Monday, I have to, to came. To come? To come to San Miguel. Ah, it's true. On Sunday, on the weekend, you are in San Salvador. So on yes. Monday, you have to travel. Oh, my God. So it's a, it's a long journey from San Salvador to San Miguel. How much time do you take? Uh, it, here is in the frontier. Frontier? With Honduras. With Honduras. Oh, my San, God. San Luis de la Reina. Ah, I imagine that it's really hot there. Yes. Oh my God. Um, and Sunday, I wake up two at the three thirty in the morning. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's very difficult in both sides, right? I mean, you have to wake up very early all the time. Yes, the most of the time, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, you get used to, that is like the best part of that, that when you get up, when, when you wake up very early all the time, then you just get used to it. And you are like, yeah, no, nah, it's like, yeah. Hello, Carolina. Hello, teacher. Oh my God, you're sick. Oh, pues estoy con fiebre. No sé si es dengue o si es COVID. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's a mañana me hacen los análisis porque oh me dijeron goodness. que hasta mañana. Ay, pero aquí estoy temblando la temperatura. Ay, carito, my God. But, well, if you feel comfortable, I mean, you can, you can. Eh. Así que voy a estar con la cámara por ratitos apagada. Okay, we understand. I really appreciate that you are here. My God, that says a lot about you. Definitely. Solo el hecho de que esté aquí presente, aquí con eso, su, sí, sí. su fiebre, my God, it's admirable. So, sí. eh, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you for being here. Eh, well, we understand that you are not feeling good. So, but thank you for being here with us today. Well, you have to be very careful, people. My God, right now we have everything. We have dengue, we have chicas, we have eh, everything. We have COVID, we have the flu, everything. My goodness, right now you don't know what it's going on. It's like, I am sick, but I don't know what do I have. And you don't really know what it is. You have to be very careful. Well, so I hope you had a beautiful weekend. And I hope you um, rested a lot. And for sure, this week, for sure, it's full of work as well. We are going to continue working a lot. Today, we are going to do a short review about um, 
the logistic process, but in a different uh, perspective. We're going to study a bit on that for sure. Um, this week is going to be about the warehouse, right? We're going to talk about the warehouse. And uh, then the next week, we're going to be covering a couple of reviews on past tense before going to uh, on vacation. Today, I send you a link for you to practice vocabulary. I don't know if you had the chance to see it. Did you have the opportunity to check the link that I sent you? In my case, no teacher. Okay, so you can check it out a little bit later. Tomorrow, maybe. Okay, I, I so hope. check it out. It is about a uh, vocabulary and it also, you donate rice every time you get a correct answer. It is a kind of a nice, uh, uh, well, page on which you check on vocabulary and then for each correct answer, they donate 10 grains of rice to people in need. So it is a very, it's a very nice thing. Yeah, you will see, you will see there. And um, please check it out. I am going to send a message to all your other classmates that we are here, we are connected and we are waiting. Oh, and we are going to start. We are waiting for you, I'm going to say. We are waiting for you in class. There you go. Well, so without any further ado, I'm going to go over the presentation of today. I hope all of you are fine and everything in your house is just fine. Okay, here it is. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome to your class. Thank you very much for completing uh, section number three and the midterm tests. I was checking it out and I was checking on your grades as well. So uh, if you didn't have the opportunity to finish something, go and check that you have everything complete. And remember that uh, you can start advancing, you can start working on on the rest of the platform, right? Many of you already finished. And I was like, wow, I mean, when I was checking on the grades, I saw that some of you had already finished with the platform and that's pretty awesome, right? And remember for sure that every single thing on the platform has to be completed. 80% of all the homework and evaluation should be done in order for you to complete the course in a satisfactory way. Also remember the name on your uh, camera. It has to be completed as you're doing. And for sure, uh, remember to keep the camera on during the whole session. If you are not participating on the microphone, remember to keep it silent, right? Attendance, I always take attendance the two times of in the class, right? At 8.20 and at 9.40. Remember to say present or here, right? Remember as well that uh, we need to be connected for the two hours of the class because they are going to check on your participation. Remember when uh, you are not using the microphone, keep it mute, the camera always on, participate on the chat when it is necessary, on the breakout rooms, and for sure, if you need help on the breakout rooms, there is a button that says ask for help if you uh, need to use it. So the agreements of the day, today are going to be on, let me see, I am going to ask uh, Mr. Mr. Jose Carlos, I oh, know he's driving, forget it, forget it. Mr. Danny, help me with the first four. Um, the class agreement is uh, number one, practice your English as much as possible. Uh, agreement two is ask for help when needed. Uh, agreement three is keep your cameras of the time. Keep your uh, cameras number, on, very good. Number four is keep microphone off if we are not using them. If you are not using them, uh-huh. What else? Is number five is 
Atten attend all your sessions on time. Attend all your sessions on time. Mm. And yes, or, number, or... Uh, it's okay, it's okay. I am going to go over the next ones. So, number five, remember, uh, well, attend all your sessions on time, as Danny said, participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude during class, collaborate with your friends on the group. Thank you for the links that you share about things that you are using and that they are working for you. So they are going to be very beneficial and helpful for your classmates as well. And for sure, work on the platform every single day. So about your day, Mr. Humberto was telling us that today it's a very hard day for him because he has to travel from San Salvador to San Miguel. So it's a very long trip. And in general, uh, Miss Carolina was telling us that she is sick, right? The Anita was kind of sleepy, she said. Ah, she was sleepy a little bit, right? Because it was a hard day. Danny was also tired because he said that Mondays are difficult, ah, right? And what about the rest? How was your day today, Rosa Beatriz? Tell us a little bit about your day or your weekend. How was it? What did you do? Mm -hmm. I can at least to you, sweet. Good night, miss. Good evening, hello. Hi, good evening. <laughs> Sorry, I said good night because I'm sleepy. Ah, come yeah. on. <laughs> yes, I recently uh, wake up because I have a really tired, tired day, but I'm here because I am a responsible person. <laughs> you, are a... <laughs> you... Yes. you are a responsible person. <laughs> okay. Yes, I put an alarm. Yes, okay. for wake up. Yes. And, <laughs> um, and today... Uh, my day, uh, like I said, was very busy, but for me, it's okay. I have a lot of work and I think um, that is good for have um, busy have? the mind, to have the busy, uh, to have the busy, busy to mind. To have oh. the mind busy. Mind busy, yes. To have the mind and busy. that's uh -huh. all. Yeah. And that's, that's all. all. Okay. Thank you, Christian. Thank you very much for uh, sharing about your day. Now we're going to listen to Rosy. Rosy Beatriz, tell us about your day. I don't know why I cannot listen to your microphone. Now, can yes. you listen to me? Yes. Yes, I can uh, listen to you. There is a button that I forget, and when I press it, eh, I forget when I do that. So uh, yeah, it happens to me as well. <laughs> okay. Um, my my weekend was very boring. I went to the. I don't remember what what did I do. <laughs> 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 what did I do? To I don't... be honest, I don't remember. Teacher, oh, don't, you, don't you remember what I did? <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah it's like yeah i i felt i felt like when you tell to your mother it's like uh did you eat it's like ah no i don't remember did i eat no i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and you just finish eating <laughs> yes. well, so it was boring and you don't forget what happened so <laughs> so i i can i can see that it was boring indeed yes indeed it okay. was and let and me see uh huh and today I just went to the veterinarian because I operate my little dog and that's it. You sterilize it? Yes, ah. but today has uh, 10 days, so the ah. veterinarian has to check it. And that's... So he had a checkup. She, yep. he, had, well, he or she? She. She had a checkup appointment. Yes. An appointment is when you go and see what happened with what they did. Okay, my dear class. Perfect. Thank you very much for sharing a little bit about your day. Well, do you have your notebook with you, people? Show me on the camera. 
show me your notebook on the camera. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, good, perfect. Now, people in the class, do you have something pink near you? Something pink near you? Yeah. I don't have anything pink <laughs> and I was asking for you. <laughs> something pink, something mm -hmm. pink. Let me see. Ah, my phone. Good. Do you have something black? Yes. On your desk? I have a charger here. Do you have something black there? Good, 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 good. Do you have something? Hey, Manuel, is still looking for something pink? <laughs> Do you have something yellow? Something yellow. Yellow. I have a yellow thing here. <laughs> yeah. I have a mini. Do you I have something to... brown? Something brown? My friend, the box. <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> That's good. My boots. My boots. Hey, your boots. Very good. I just imagine Manuel like <laughs> taking out the boots. Do you have yeah. Do you have alcohol near you? This yes. type of uh, this type of alcohol. I don't want to see <laughs> this one. This <laughs> alcohol. Do you have alcohol? Where is it? Where is it? You don't have, Danny. Where is it? Where is alcohol. it? Alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. Okay. You have for Big the whole family. Big bottle. I have one the bottle. other alcohol. One bottle. Okay. Do you have something green near yeah. you? My eyes. Ah. <laughs> green. 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 Very good. Very good. Green. Nelson. Algo verde. Something green. I know. Hey, a cacti. <laughs> That's a cactus. Hey, there. <laughs> my <God. laughs> Is it my gun, Carolina? There you go. Do you have something purple? <laughs> my shirt. Purple. No. Something purple. Hey, there you go. Very good. My shoes. <laughs> Your shoes. Hey, you see? Nice. Something red. I have a flower right here. Also, my shoes. <laughs> Good. Hey. Ice cream. El rico siempre humeando la pa. Hey. I have ice cream here for the class. <laughs> little, little. A little, a little. A Very little, ice. A, a little snack for the class. Okay. Do you have something? Uh, let me see. Ay. Silver, something silver, plateado, something silver. I have a coating. <laughs> the other shoes. Hey, mean, silver shoes. Hey, cool, nice. I have aluminum. Hey, aluminum, aluminum foil. Hey, what is it that? What is it that one, Jorge Humberto? It's a. Uh, it's a camera. No, uh, how is it? What is it? Uh, it's a light. Ah, okay. I thought it was a gop. That's cool. Hey, okay, that's <laughs> nice. Olga, what do you have? Silver. Silvia, what do you have? Something silver. Nothing. Let me see. Do you have something white? My see. A paper. My <laughs> Your shirt. My, my my teeth use it. <laughs> cool. Hey, nice. You see that? A candle? Nice. Sylvia, something white. Nelson, something white. Okay, good. And now I need you to get the most curious thing that you can see around. Lo más raro que vean ahí alrededor. Lo más raro que tengan. Okay, let me see. I'm going to find it. Okay, let me get it. Hey. Okay, this is the most curious thing that I have around. Okay. Do you have it? <laughs> okay, good. 
take the most strangest thing that you've the most the, no the strangest thing that you have around. Okay. I have here. What do you have it there, teacher? I yo amenizo fiestas cuando se acaba la clase. <laughs> okay, good. So take your object, keep your object. Can I see your objects, people? Can I see your objects? I need your objects, your objects. Show me your objects. You are going to use it. You are going to use it. Keep it there, keep it there. Okay, I have this one. I have a lamp. You have a lamp, good. Hi, yes. there's your wife behind, hi. <laughs> okay, yeah. good, keep your, keep your object. Keep your object. What we're going to do right now, we're going to do, we're going to do something right now. Okay. And I am going to send you to work in little groups. What you're going to do in your group is the following with your object. Okay. You are going to tell your group what it is. How do you, how do you produce them? And how much is it? Okay. I do these little hats for cats, okay? This is my product. This is a little hat for cat. And this is an example of what you are going to do on your breakout rooms, right? I do these little hats for cats. They are very useful because they prevent the cat from injuries when they fight on the roof, okay? So when the cat goes on the roof, you can put it on and you are going to be uh, sure that your cat is safe, okay? There you have, I have in different sizes for cats and they I are like only it. $20 each. Is it I heavy? Like, I love to. It is not heavy, it's very light. <laughs> <laughs> it's very light. No, indeed it's a, it's a, it's un casco de fútbol de cosita de estas. I didn't see this yeah, article. It is this one. But that's what I do in my company. These are hats for cats. Oh, okay. Hats for cats, and they are $20 each, okay? Eso es lo que hago en mi compañía. Miren lo que lindo. <laughs> they are $20 each, very, and you put it on your cat, look, and it prevents, it prevents him or her from getting hurt, okay? $20. So you can find it on, on Marketplace. Send me a message, okay? So you are going to go to the rooms and you are going to tell your friends what is your product, what is the product for, and how much is it, and where can you get it, okay? <laughs> I am very creative, you see? You can put it on your cut and it will be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, it will fine. So, Check on your product, think a little bit on it. Think a little bit about what you're going to say about your product and how you make it, how much is it, and where can you find it, okay? Yes. Are you ready with your products? Yes. Llévense su producto ahí. Yes. Lo van a ir a vender ahorita, lo van a ir a promocionar. Okay, <laughs> we are going to make little groups. Get ready, you're going to be in groups of five. So let's go. Take your product with you. Okay, agarren su producto y vayanse a las salas de trabajo. Ah, there you go. Hello, hello, Jose Carlos. I'm going to send you to classroom two. Go ahead. I got, okay, accept my invitation. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. And Rocío, José, Linda. Okay. I have Linda, Yvette, and Jose Carlos that are joining to the groups. Oh, Jose Carlos is driving, I guess, still. There you go. Okay, Jose Carlos, we're going to go to the rooms. I am going to check on students. And whenever you have the chance, you can go and join the room, okay? Jose Carlos, no sé si me escuchó. Cuando eh, termino, cuando llegue, se puede unir al grupo. Ah, there you go. Okay. 
So uh, students are going to get creative on their groups, explaining the different products that they have, how they do it, and what are they for. So we are going to go and visit each of the rooms to see what students are creating and for sure what is the product for. Let's go and check on the students. Hey, Jose Carlos. ¿Qué pasó? Se me salió el grupo. Which is the uh, my product is a uh, uh, how the perfume a perfume a perfume perfume and the uh, and what and what is the, what is special about the perfume? Que lo hace especial, que lo hace diferente. Ah, it's made in France. Nice. It's international. <laughs> uh -huh. It's made in France. And how much is it? How much is it? In is uh, the if the fragrance is uh, citronelle and limon. Citronel and lemon. Well, at least the mosquitoes are not going yeah. to bite you. <laughs> imagine, imagine si se subió al bupe y usted toda perfumada. Mm, citronela. Mm, justo. justo. <laughs> like fabuloso. Mm. People will go away, and that's good because now with COVID, people are not going to get close to you. They will like, uh, yes, <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> but it's from France. How much money are you going to spend on that one? Cuánto nos va a costar, Silvia? Um, fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. <laughs> Fifty dollars for a citronella perfume. <laughs> it's expensive for the for the, for the purpose. It's kind of expensive. Well, but, but think about it. No thieves. No people. No mosquitoes. Yeah. Imagine the thief on the bus, right? El, el ladrón ahí en el bus. Oh, citronella. Ah, oh, mi punto de vista. Uh, mi criptonita. <laughs> on, the on the bus, alone on the bus, only with the driver. <laughs> or private buses. Yo lo compro. <laughs> okay, and the, the the rest of products, what do you have? This, this is the my kitchen. Do you recognize? <laughs> what is it? Ah, that's the ones that you do this. It, it's a re reflective tape. Oh. I, I, I like to run, then I use the, the reflective when I run in the, in the night or mm -hmm. in the at early night. morning, at night, at night. and uh, it, this could uh, avoid dangers or a car could uh, crash on you, hit you. Yes. When in that case is roll over me. Roll over. That, yes. Eso, eso the, significa, o sea, ahí va cuando dice cuando me pueden atropellar, right? The, they are going the to main, roll over you, they say. Te van a atropellar. The, so. the main idea is the car could see uh, that I'm going in the, in the way. Oh, that's nice. Or in, or in the road. Okay. And do you have for your hands and for your legs? Yes. How nice. And it's a uh, reflective yellow. Uh -huh. You can find this, this, this tape in the EPA, maybe. Oh, nice. In other, in other carreteria, how do you Hardware stores. 
Hardware Hard, store. Hardware, like hardware on the computer. Hardware, hardware stores. Store. Hey, nice. And how um, much is it? It's very cheap. Maybe two dollars. Two dollars. Hey, but that's I, a very that's a very good product, definitely. But could save your life. Definitely. It can save your life. Well, continue developing your products, people. Practice because yeah. you're going to use it. Van a usar esa información, así que se la bien. So, please, mm -hmm. practice. I'm going to go and check the next group. Okay. Price is, oh, the price is around maybe $79. Oh, I don't know. Uh, for me, it's a gift. <laughs> for me. Um, what is it? What is, what is the product? Purple. Oh, nice. Yeah. But, but that's uh, your product. You produce it. Hace de caso que tú lo produces y que es tu producto y que tú lo vendes. How much okay. money, how much money uh, uh, are you going to pay to get it? ¿Cuánto nos va a costar comprarlo? Okay, the price is um, $79. Uh -huh. And where can, uh, where can we find it? Um, you find it in my store is the, um, and the uh, online <laughs> <laughs> in your <laughs> online store. store okay, in your uh -huh. online store. Yeah, yeah. The, the name is Marlene. Um, Marlene, yeah, Marlene. Marlene's and more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. And what about the rest of yeah. products? What do we have? What are the other products? We have Marlene with the with the AirPods. What else do we have? I have a control remote. A remote mm, control. Question. And what remote. makes what makes that remote control special? It's multi, special? multifunction multifunctional. Multifunctional? Yes, it's Tell for TV, more. for DVD, for radio, everything you need. <laughs> for everything that you it's like yes. click yes. like the, like it the is cheaper. <laughs> It is cheap. How much? How much is it? It costs ten dollars. Ten dollars for a multifunctional remote yes. control. Hmm. I want we, one. we are. I, I want. We're producing want. from China. <laughs> <laughs> so you are you are shipping from China, and where can I get it? You can get it in an online page. Okay, in your <laughs> online page. Nice. What about Linda or, or Carolina? What do you have? What are your products? Uh, Carolina is feeling bad. Because... Yeah, Carolina is sick. So uh, Linda, tell me, what, what is your product about? Well, teacher, this is my product. It's a ident identification plate. I don't oh, know. Ajá, a plate. Exactly. So you make them. Esas son las que usted hace en su tienda. Yes, teacher. Ajá. So here to the front is the name of the pet. And behind you can put the information in case the pet misses. It gets misses. lost. In case mm -hmm. the pet lost. gets yeah, yes. lost. Oh. Okay, in case the pet get, gets lost. Gets lost, uh-huh. Here is the, the, cell number, the cell number of the owner. Ooh. Yeah. And, and, you, you and do, can... you, do you personalize them? Yes, yes, we can personalize. We can, the, and the price is, uh, only five dollars. <gasps> Give me two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I need what three. A... Yes, teacher. <laughs> three and uh -huh. yes, I heard a teacher. Only that. Only that. Good. No, only that, what, what about? Thank you, Linda. Very nice product. And Diana, mm -hmm. what was your product? Uh, okay. My product are these little books, but they are port portraits. Uh, you can put little Aww. pictures of your special ones, um, can be your pets, can be your boyfriend or your family, and you can have it in your wallet or there to you, next oh, to you. Oh, what a beautiful thing. <laughs> and how much is it? Uh, it only costs $3. With the plague, with the... 
airport with everything. They have compulsive shock shopping here, unboxing everything. Yes. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. That's a very beautiful thing. Well, my dear girls, practice with your products. And we're going to go back to the main room because you're going to present them, okay? Así que escriban ahí su idea para que la puedan presentar, cómo lo producen, cómo lo venden, cuánto les cuesta, para que lo vamos a presentar para todos, okay? So write it down, escriban sus ideas. Did, Ay, yo no encuentro nada. Did you draw? What? Dale. Hello, hello. Hello, very, teacher. Very, teacher. And your very, products? Very, Ah, espere, lo voy a traer que lo acabo de ir a dejar. No, hombre, ¿por qué no lo vaya a dejar si lo voy a ocupar? <risa> en Juan de Dios, what is your product? My product is a small bag to put inside our ah. my cell phone. What a beautiful thing. <risa> can you put eh, it on the belt? <risa> you can, you como, can. Como los hacendados, vea, así, aquí. You can uh, keep. You can keep. Uh, you can keep safe the the cell phone. The cell phone it's and not, your money and everything. It's not broken. If so, uh -huh. I, if this. Fell. Oh. Okay, so you see your cell phone is going to be safe and sound. Sano y salvo. Yes. That's pretty mm -hmm. nice. Safe yeah. and sound is sano y salvo, okay? Si ya habían oído la canción ahí, di, 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 safe and sound. Eso significa sano y salvo. Okay, so Miguel, mm -hmm. what is your product? Ah, uh, Danny, Danny, show me the product that you are selling. Ah, en Juan de Dios, where, where can we get it? ¿Dónde lo podemos comprar? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Ah, uh, we can... Buy it in marketplace. How much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars. Cool. From Very $5. good. Okay, starting on five dollars. Danny, what is your product? Uh, my product is uh, my comic. <laughs> the. <laughs> oh, what the, a cool thing! <laughs> the the more strange uh, in my the case. Strangest... The strangest. In my house is uh, um, we can uh, in marketplace. In, okay, you can find it in my in marketplace. Uh huh. And in my website, uh, it's uh, out. <laughs> okay, so you can say that the product that it's you a... make is that you create cartoons for people. Yeah. And that uh -huh. you can you can say like my product is that I create cartoons about people, and they are I don't know twenty dollars ten dollars, and you can find them in marketplace. You send me uh -huh. the picture and I create your cartoon, and one give me dollar. the money. One dollar. One dollar. No, my, venda los It's caros, my hombre. No, pues sí, pero usted lo va a vender ahorita y lo va a vender caros. No, va a vender a dólar, a dólar, mi arte. No, el arte es lo más caro. Por si te regatean. Exactly, exactly. You know, I make, I make this type of jewelry. I don't know if you can see it. I make this. And, and I make it. I, I make bisutería, right? I make all these things. Oh, and eh, I have a lot of different type of necklaces because I make them, right? Yo digo, ay, tengo una blusa roja. No tengo un collar, lo hago. And I make it, but nice. and uh, many people say like, no, pero lo debería dar como a dos dólares todo. And the <clears> art, <throat> and the time, and the materials, and and and, and my yeah. creativity. <laughs> so it's like yeah, eh, eh. it's so, very expensive. Yeah, there are some products that are expensive, Crazy. and I said like, mm. and the creation and the creativity. So no, you have to be, you have to be. Um, careful with your with your art so okay let me just assign Marlene uh, to room number two okay so and I am missing uh, Cristia and Miguel what are your products okay good evening miss I have the perfect product for you aha uh -huh. I, I have, have shopping. a uh -huh. cup 
with <gasps> your name. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, because we share names. <laughs> what a beautiful cup! Oh my god, and I love it. Yes. M and M's, I love them. Yes, oh. it's a cup for M and M's. Oh, uh, what a beautiful yeah. thing! And how much are they? And also, I have a. How do you say the hair of the necklace? Necklace. Uh, a, a charm. Charm. It's a charms with their name. Also, Natalie. Oh my God. It, it's on M and M's. Yes. Oh my God. So take my <laughs> money. Go ahead. Take my money. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. So, where, where can you find it? Donde lo pueden comprar? In my website. In your In website. website. Okay, yes, your website. website. Yes, I am a, a entrepreneur. And, okay, you are an entrepreneur. And, uh -huh. Yes, and I made that, and I made this this type of cups. Oh, that's and, nice. Yes. How beautiful. Okay, so you see, nice. You um, you make personalized cups. Yeah. And what about Miguel? What is your product, Miguel? Uh, <laughs> Show me the product. I'm connected to the teacher on the stairs. Pero, and select test for me. Aha, show them, show them. Muéstralos ahí, muéstre el objeto que ha escogido. Tenemos que escoger un objeto. Ahí está, mire, mire. This new earphones, earphones. You know, these ones that I have, these ones, are headphones. This one. Okay. The ones that you put on your ears, they are earphones. Okay. It's more it's most innovation. Uh, it's the most option. Okay, it's a it's a better option. It's innovative, it's modern. More in most details is the most uh, classical, uh, the most original. Okay, they are original, innovative, nice, and um, easy to safe. use and safe for sure because you keep them on your ears. That's cool. And how much is it? Cuánto vale? Cuánto vale el producto? Usted los hace, acuérdese. Usted le pone el precio porque usted los hace. $25. $25. Okay. And where can I get them? ¿Dónde los puedo comprar? In, in social media. In, in city, uh, okay. Commercial center. Okay. In the commercial center and okay. in social media. Okay. In, no, the, in the commercial. No, 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 no. Sorry. Commercial center. I thought you were talking about the center of the city, right? In the in the places in the city. No, that is a mall, right? Si te referís al centro comercial, uh, so you say. In refer y commercial center. Ajá, pero si cuando dices commercial center, eh, es como centro comercial, right? Pero la palabra en inglés es mall. In the mall. Okay, M-A-L-L, -L, in the mall. Right? Mall. Okay. In the, in the, and if you want to say en las tiendas, uh, por ejemplo, si buscas una tienda en el centro, you can the say town. en oh. en el mercado. In, in the, the in the what? In the town. Okay. In the center of the town. Es en el centro eh, del pueblo. In the center. In the center of the town. But there is uh, an easier way to say you can find it downtown. In the in order in order website. Okay, in the website. Very good. You can find it on the website as well. Good. When you say the center of the town, it's correct. But you can say like uh, you can find it downtown in the center. The website delivery. Uh, extra cost. Okay, for delivery. E, my goodness, we will have to pay extra costs. That's good. Well, my dear class, let's go back to the main room. Let's okay. go back then. Hi. Let's go back to the main session.
Okay, I will bring back all the participants to the main session. Hi, again. Sorry, I was silenced. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for coming back. Thank you for all the great products that you were showing there. And before everything happens, I will call the attendance. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Carolina Yamilet. Present, teacher. Oh, my poor present. Carolina. Ay, mi niña. <laughs> Claudia Maria? Present teacher. Christian Natalie? Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth? Here teacher. Jorge Humberto? Present teacher. Jose Carlos? Jose Carlos? Where are you? Te acabo de ver en los salón. Okay, let's continue. Eh, José Rodrigo. José Rodrigo. Mr. José Rodrigo. Ahí está, ahí está, pero no lo oigo. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Juan de Dios. Linda. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. And uh, let me see, Miguel Angel. Mr. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel Dominguez, Miguel Angel Dominguez. Se le solicita el micrófono. Ahí está Miguel, pero no me contesta. <laughs> Ay, a ver, es mi, es, es mi sueño, es mi sueño. <ríe> es, es mi segundo trabajo. <ríe> Nelson, Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Normita, Normita. Se me perdió Normita. Eh. Olga Marlene. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Rosita Beatriz. Se me perdió Rosita Beatriz. Me andaba vagando y se me fue. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Michelle. Ah, Tati dijo que terminaba su shift a las nueve. Ahora. Ya va a aparecer por aquí. Eh, Bill My Bet. Vilmita, Vilmita. Hoy todos se quedaron paseándome. Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. Mister Omar. Chilling, chilling. And Danny Anthony. Here, teacher. Hello, thank you very much. Okay, good. I need, and I need three or four volunteers who want to present their product to the public. You are going to explain what is your product about, how much is it, where can you find it, and for sure, why um, that product is very special for you to get it, okay? As I told you before, I show you my product that it's very special. It's very important. It's very necessary if you have cats at home and they like to go fighting. So you see, uh, so, I need four. Uh, you see, Diana needs four. Thank you very much. Ya le van a tomar la orden. <laughs> so she needs four. So I presented my product, right? For sure. Yeah, 
There you go. Imagine your cat there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Teacher, I need one for my for my for my dog because the cat always the cat play fire with my yeah <laughs> yeah. So I need I need three or four volunteers to show me the product that you have. Why the product is it special and how much is it? And for sure, where can you get it? Volunteers. Thank you, Manuel, Diana. One, two, one, two. Aha. Si no, los otros Three, Christian, Jorge. Very good. Okay, I have Christian, I have Jorge, I have Diana, I have Manuel for the products. Show me the product. Tell me what, tell me what makes the product special and how much is it and where can we find it? Go ahead. Action for Mr. Manuel. Go ahead. Action. Okay. Let me let me show my lamp collection. Did you see? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you are a lamp okay. producer. <laughs> yes, teacher. I'm going to describe a little bit each each one. But for me, the each one of of there are are very are very special. For uh, but this one is uh, for use uh, for many use. I cannot say uh, for a small usage for a small yes, things. For a small use, yes. But uh, I, you can buy in a specific, not a specific uh, places because. Es in que a... el productor es usted. Usted las produce. Ah, las okay. hace. Usted es el dueño de la lamparera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. the, the, the effect of this is for me the, 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 the special because you you can charge by daylight or, or oh. uh, with sunlight. Yes, sunlight. Yes, or with a charger. Okay. Um, they uh, it has uh, uh, four different likes and you can buy you can buy in in my in my shop okay ah uh, your hardware <laughs> store okay yes, very good uh, how much I, how I, much is it Mr. Manuel. Yes, the price is uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay, yes. ten dollars. It's a, it's a, it's uh -huh. a, it's a, a special price for you. Okay, it's a special price, ten dollars. Very good. So you can yes. find it in in Manuel's hardware store. A lot yes. of lamps for everybody. I lamps. Have, I have this this also for different okay um, situation. But that's okay. the one that you put in your head. Yes, yes, ah, it's okay. a lamp hair. <laughs> ah, this that's is a cool. lamp hair, yes. When they light up, you can use it. Yes, yes very good. <laughs> this is an example <laughs> of like the product. Yes, I like it, teacher. <laughs> Así se ve well, puesta. <laughs> you, can, you can buy in my hardware store. Okay, yes? good. So if you need Only lamps... Or you can go with Manuel if you need to buy lamps. <laughs> I, 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 am, I am checking on Manuel, but I, my attention is placed on you Diana fighting with the dog. dog. <laughs> you can type in my, in my email. Okay, send an email if you need lamps. Send yes. an email to Manuel. Claps for Manuel with the lamp store. <laughs> very good, very good. Find it. Find it there. Si lámparas quiere, busca Manuel. Manuel. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Miss Diana Elizabeth, what is your product? How much is it okay. and where can we find it? First, I'm so sorry for my dog. No, don't worry. <laughs> I, I was having fun checking on it. Okay. Uh, well, my product are these little books, but actually they are little portraits. Um, here, 
Well, in this little book, you can choose to put the picture of two loving ones. Uh, can be your family, your boyfriend, or your husband, or can be your kids or your pets. And also we add their names and the important information here. Oh. Uh, I produce it myself. I buy a special paper for the book and the picture I print in them on Kodak. Oh, good. Yeah, they are not paper pictures. It's... Yes. The price is only $3 and you can order in my social media on Instagram. You can find me like Memory D. And that's all. <laughs> Memory D. Hey, what a cool thing. Claps for Memory D. The portrait is very nice. Three dollars, three dollars, very good. Now let's go with Mr. Jorge Humberto. Tell us about your product. Why is it important? How much is it? And where can we get it? Uh, this, this is my product. I, I consider it, this product is, is smaller. Small? But it's small, but it's pretty important because could can save your life. Uh, avoid you can you can get uh, roll over you <laughs> yeah a car a car can because, roll over you right yes because this is a ref reflective tape and uh, is is very cheaper you can buy this one by i think in two dollars maybe you can find it in epa uh I, I i pretty recommend you okay so reflective bands you can have it on your hands and on your and on your feet your, right and your feet you can use you can okay. use four maybe at the same time or if you want you can use a lot of <laughs> all over you the way also, you can combine with with light lamp or other stuff that that reflect you okay so we are going to we are going to make an alliance with manuel so you can have the reflective bands and the lamp <laughs> that's cool yes, okay very nice car, car can see you at the, at the distance okay they the cars can see you on distance and the product is very cheap you say the product is very cheap very it's cheap. not cheaper okay yes. cheap the product is very cheap. And last but not least, thank you, Claps, for Mr. Humberto and the products that he's selling. Very good. Búscalo en Instagram, por favor. I am going to ask Cristia. What about okay. your product? Okay, good evening. Um, my product are personalized cups. I put your name uh, wherever you want. In this case, it's from the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you want another name, Christian, I don't know. Is there? And I have another types of cups. It's like this with your name also and your favorite um, cartoon. Uh, cartoon. Yes. And I personalize everything that you want uh, with your name, Christian, or or your name, <laughs> uh, personalized uh, charms. I don't know if you can see, that's yes. my name also. <laughs> and the price of the products is for this cup is um, $10 because the, the, the type of cup. And for this, $5. And the other ones you can ask, ask to me, in my networks, so in my social networks. Yes. Okay, so whatever you need, something personalized, a little gift for someone, go with Cristia, okay? Cheap prices and nice products. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you to all my volunteers. Very nice. You see, it was a very cool thing that you were actually inventing. I didn't say, okay, get a fantastic product. No, I mean, you got it. Danny, can you show your product to the public? Dani, muéstrales los productos que usted hace. My product, uh, my business are the plants. Uh, I, you can buy it uh, in marketplace, in a website. Um, I begging uh, very much uh, 
plants the different characteristic um, characteristics char ¿cómo? characteristics 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 and is different characteristics and of my plant is a little is a big and in the medium Okay, medium mm. size. You say, when you are talking about the sizes of something, you say like it's small, medium size, large, or extremely big, right? You can have the different types. So you have plants. Danny yeah. sells plants. Very good job. Well, my dear students, very good job on presenting your products. You see, it was a very nice way to practice for today. Excellent. Okay, let's go back to the business. Today, as we were talking about in the previous classes, I am going to take you back to the topics. And as you were saying, you see the importance of having a very good product, to have a very good distributor, to have a very good place to sell it, and for sure, packing, producing, everything, it's really important, right? Today is our week number three. Remember, we need to finish the content, well, or most of it before Friday. We're going to be working on this day by day, okay? Lo vamos a ir trabajando día con día. So, I have a couple of questions for you today. And I need you to analyze this question that I have here. Do you know anyone with an interesting or unusual job? Do you know anyone, anyone with an interesting or unusual job? Think about it. Think about the people that you know. Do you know anyone with an interesting or with an unusual job? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. What is it? Uh, how to say that? Let me think about is is a I think is a civil engineer. Uh -huh. But the work is analyze how the the fluid concrete uh, can put together a big dam presa. Uh -huh with the the stone so that is specifically what he does to work on on that specific area it's an a specific area is it, the name is uh, in, injection uh, injection contact injection or injection at the contacto Imagine, so, and, and that is imagine, who, who would imagine that you need a specific person to see how this concrete works with the stones and how they connect and compact? Yes. Imagine, and you need yes. one person specifically for that. It's like, a, no, no, yes. necesitamos un ingeniero para contactos líquidos y fluidos. No, 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 no me sirve. <laughs> So it is a very unusual job. Do you know anyone else with an unusual job? No idea or most of uh -huh. I, I can, uh, <laughs> okay. in work, and, and Jorge, Jorge and then Dani, huh? In, in my work there are many is, <laughs> specialties or especialidades. Branches branches that uh, I, I don't know how old uh, doesn't work, but I know there are many people that are uh, things specials. Okay, that they do special things, right? That they do special things. Nice, Jorge, thank you very much. Mr. Danny, what were you going to say? Uh, I cannot, uh, a person, uh, with an uh, interesting job, um, uh -huh. I, um, él, he, um, he does, uh, he does the service uh, inter international in price, he, he, 
is a very interesting job. It okay. Is uh -huh. a, it's a job in, in the social network, in, in the job in, como promoviendo todo lo de la empresa. Uh, se llaman FES. Okay. Oh. FES is the interesting job. It's an interesting job. So he works promoting the products in social media all over the world. Es como la, o sea, que él da la, como las estrategias de, de lo que puede hacer la empresa en otros países, por ejemplo. Presta los servicios, se los pagan en Estados Unidos, pero son de Alemania los servicios. Ah, interesting. You see, that's very a very, that's a very interesting job. Definitely, definitely it is, right? It's a very interesting job. Good. So taking back into the questions, the last time of the class, thank you, Danny. I was talking about the three PLs, right? But there is another one that it's called the four PLs, right? It's not only one. And the difference on these ones, right? The ones that we started before, the one PL, it's a business, uh, the example here, a business manufacturing TV, it packs the TV, it stores the TV, it delivers it to the customer. So this first PL type is when the business does everything. You make the product, you pack it, you store it, you deliver it, and you take it to the customer. So that it's a one PL uh, business. Do you have examples of this type of businesses? Can you give me examples of this type of business, the one PL business that you make everything? You do the things, you pack them, you store them, you deliver them, and you take them to the customers. Like Can you... the example teacher, Dell. Okay. Dell, they do everything, right? And they do Could the be packing. A service. It can be a service. Platform. Because I I have a friend that, ha, that she has a hotel, uh -huh. and the food that they uh, make, uh, for for her for their customers, um, it's all the the ingredients from the la finca, <laughs> la oh, finca the, for, the from farm, the finca, uh -huh. so farm ah uh, the farm yeah like a farm, uh -huh. so, uh, she was she she talked to me about this and I think it's incredible because they they do everything they um they sold uh, the products in the in the hotel and they have the ingredients or the vegetables or the chicken to do the <laughs> food for, for the clients. Oh my god it, it sounds it sounds cruel <laughs> but that's nice right well they have mm -hmm. so that's a very good example of a 1pl business because they do everything right they manufacture they yeah. produce they organize and everything okay what is another example of a 1pl type of business teacher for example yes. the brand of the brand of i remember sorry and don't worry don't worry un hombre ocupado. What yes. about the, uh -huh? yes, Pierre Cardin. Pierre Cardin. Pierre okay. Cardin is a, is a brand of, of El Salvador, but they have, uh, uh, they manufacturing their products, mm -hmm. packages. They, they have, they has a store mm -hmm. and Deliver it directly to, to customers. To the customers. Uh -huh. So that is another example of a 1PL business, right? Yes. That they do everything. They don't have yes. other people reselling the things. Say, corbata? Corbata? Thai. Thai. Thai, pants, uh, handkerchief. Everything. So they do yes. a little bit of everything. So face that is also face masks. <laughs> and they do face masks. It's, it's yes. true, right? So those are examples, right? Another example of a 1PL business, it's the pupusas place. 
right? Because they do the pupusas there, they pack them there, they storage them if it's needed, they take it to the customers and they take it directly mm -hmm. to them, the tortillas place that we have, right? That they, yeah. they do everything there on the business. The little shops that are near your house can be kind of an example, but they use a retailer in the middle because they need to buy other products from different places. So when you produce, when you manufacture, when you pack, when you store and deliver, right? That it's a 1PL business. A very good example of this, it was the restaurants that you created, right? The restaurants that you created, they were a 1PL business because you were doing everything. Later mm -hmm. on, when you created your stores and everything that you bought, uh, uh, that you hire specific uh, people to, to do the deliveries and all that. So you were growing to the second type. In this second type, what is the difference? Can you help me to read what is the second type of PL? A business. A business manufacturing. TV packs. TV packs. A career. A career. Good. So in this what case, a career is a person who takes the, the product to the customer. Un sistema de entrega. Like a seller? Ah, okay. Yeah. Like, uh, do you remember Gigante Express? Or FedEx? Yes. Or all these products, yeah. right? Those are careers. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm. So, a business uh, manufacturing TV, uh, they process the TV, they pack it, they store it, but someone else does the delivery. That is the second type, right? Another person, an external person, does the delivery system. Outsource. Uh, they outsource. Good. What about the next one? Here we have the third form. What is this third form? Can you help me to read it? A business on It is provider, provider. Okay, a business, a business only manufactures TV and outsources the transport, packaging, warehousing, and fulfillment to a 3PL service provider. What is the only thing that they do? They only manufacture the TV. Then they outsource everything else, the transport, the packaging, the warehousing, and the fulfillment of the 3PL. It's under the service of, of a 3PL provider. All the logistics and all that is based on the other ones. It's like, Imagine that you make dresses, right? But you only make the dresses. Someone else is going to pack them. Someone else is going to deliver them. Someone else is going to store them. So that's a trivial. What about the fourth one? The fourth type, it says a business exists. A 4PL service provider manages manufacturing, transport, packaging, warehousing, and fulfillment of the TV on behalf of the business. What do you do in this type of service? You only exist. And you say, here is everything. Here's the material, here's the money, here's everything. I want them like this and like this. And then you say, ahorita jefe. And you create everything. <laughs> exactly like that. So they create everything. So imagine that you have a hamburger place and you only buy the ingredients. You only buy the ingredients and you hire people to do these uh, things for the clients. What is a very good example of food here in El Salvador, uh, yellow color that does this, that they only buy the ingredients and other people is in charge of creating the product a yellow cart that it's very famous and very delicious. And you can find it on the streets. Chotties. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that, right? They just put the ingredients. They just put the ingredients. I know the owner 
of the company and he just gets everything. Pero tiene que ser siempre el mismo pan, las mismas salchichas, los mismos repollos, los compra en el mismo lugar para todos. So they buy all these ingredients. They do the sausages. Ellos las hacen, las salchichas. Because they have a place. And I have seen it. Yo he visto cuando las están haciendo. <laughs> no son de nada raro. It's rango. like a franquicia. Fran franchise. Yeah. It's no. a fran uh, yeah. But in this case, it is the owner of the place. And then you just get this little, yeah, the Frank, the Frank, Frank, well, let me get the pronunciation of that word. No. Yeah, but it has a, a specific pronunciation. Let me find it for you. But the thing is that uh, they, they provide everything and they only do the manufacturing and they put it on the, on the customers. Sounds like a neveria. Exactly like Ora <laughs> Sarita. Boston. A Boston. So it, it is exactly like that. And that is one, of, that's a very good example of this thing. And it is franchise. 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 Okay. Franchise. Franchise. Excellent. There you go. I love this, this thing on Google. Franchise. Franchise. It's franchise. not French fries, okay? It's franchise. Okay, franchise. franchise is when you get uh, a company, right? When you get a company and you have to do everything exactly like the company wants, right? If like, if you buy a Mr. Chicken, the orange one, <laughs> right? Yes. A, a, a Don Chicken. You have to do know. everything exactly as the owner wants because you cannot change anything. No puedes cambiar nada. Nada, 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 nada. So don't that chicken, is. Don uh, Chicken could, could be a good brand. Well, indeed it is. It is a good brand. I don't chicken. I don't yeah. chicken. Si alguno de ustedes pone un negocio y le pone Don Chicken, me tiene que dar los dividendos del nombre, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, good, very good. So, Mr. Chicken, ajá. Uh -huh. Mr. Chicken. So I have a good example here on how uh, selling on Amazon works. This is a very good example of all the things that they do on their own, right? And this is the process that they follow. What is the first uh, step that they do? The first step that they, that they do, for sure. Send products. Send product you to send Amazon. products to Amazon, right? You send, send your products. products. That's the first thing. Then they are going to Amazon stores your products. Store your products. Amazon stores your products. They store your products, right? It's like here, I am going to keep it for you. Don't worry. Then customer customer purchase your products. Customers purchase purchase products. Your products. And what about the next one? Amazon picks and packs products. And for sure, after all this, Amazon ships products to customers. So this is a very good example of what type of PL, people. This is a good example of PL number one here. It's an example of PL number one, number two, number three, or number four. Number one. Uh-huh. Mm, number four. Number three or four. Why do you say number four? Uh, because uh -huh. because you create and well, I mean you produce and they distribute it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a good example of number four because the only thing that you do just send send you have show the product. You just give. You just hand mm -hmm. in the product, right? You hand in the product, and in some cases, if you don't hand it in, 
they go and get it, right? Si ustedes no lo pueden llevar, en este caso, ellos van y lo recogen. It's like, don't worry, I am going to send someone to pick it up. Don't worry, right? They send the products and for sure, they do all the rest of the process. And you don't have to worry about, and what is the only thing that the person receives at the end? Money. The money. Right? And for sure, this is not going to be maybe 100% of the money. Maybe it's not going to be 100% because the company is going to get, for sure, a part for all these process, right? That it is not a only like, ah, yeah, I am going to do everything, don't worry, and you get all the money. No, right? In some cases, the person, imagine that the product is, let's say, $20, right? Imagine if the product is $20 for the person, for them, it's going to be 30. Aquí ya cuando lo voy a buscar, ya vale. $30, right? Even when you sold it on 20. But here's when they make their earning. It's like, vaya, nosotros lo vamos a vender en 30. No tenga pena. And you are going to receive your money. And in the end, all the process, it's going to be worth, right? Because they are going to do it for everybody. And uh, just a little commercial before we continue. Commercial. Uh, I have the one-on-one -on -one sessions for the week. For today is going to be Miguel Angel. For tomorrow, Mr. Nelson. For Wednesday, Norma Carolina. And for uh, Thursday, Olga Marlene. And for Friday, Rocio Veronica. Okay, those are the, uh, the well, that is the order for the one-on-one -on -one sessions. We're going to have uh, Miguel Angel Dominguez on uh, today. Nelson tomorrow, uh, let me see, Norma Carolina on Wednesday, Olga Marleni on Thursday, and on Friday, Rocio Veronica, okay? That is the order of the one-on-one -on -one sessions for the week. Mm. Any question? No? Yes. <laughs> Yes, because I'm I, I'm not sure to be here the, in Friday. Next hey, Friday. My God. Hello, we are going to see. We are going to see. I think I'm going to be here the Friday. Come on. No, oh, I'm not, let's see. I'm let's see. In. Okay, let's see. Because it, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. If not, we can switch it. Si no platíquelo con sus compañeros, con quién puede cambiar o con quién quisiera cambiar, and then there's no problem. Okay. Thank that, you. That's cool. Okay. So that is a good example of a 4PL system, right? As you can see there. And for sure, now that you can see here, and before moving to this to this little part, we're going to move on the reading. And it says like, why did businesses shift to triple 3PL providers? Why do you think, and this is a moment for you to analyze and think, why do you think companies uh, get this type of services? Why do you think companies need this type of providers? What is the importance for you? Why do you think is it important? To avoid logistics. To avoid logistics, right? What else? Why do you think these processes are very important for a company? Do you think it makes their work easier or more difficult? I think it's easier. It's easier, right? What do you think that it's uh, uh, the most beneficial part? ¿En qué se benefician más las empresas cuando tienen un sistema de estos? Save costs, teacher. They save costs, because. right? Uh -huh. Because they don't have to spend uh, uh, physical in, space. Yes, in physical space, yes. They don't have to spend on physical space. That's very good. Another thing. They don't time. have many employees. 
They save time. They don't have more employees. That's very good. Because the employees on the 3PL are the employees of the 3PL, right? So that's not people that you are going to pay for, but it is going to be included on the service. Do you think, do you think it positionates uh, or it positions the product in a better way on the market? Maybe uh, they know the market and they have uh, better ideas to, to put the product in the, the market. That's a very good observation. They have more experience, right? They have more experience and for sure they are going to go and um, well, they are going to work with a better market. And it says, uh, the reading here, Juan de Dios, can you help me to read the first part here? A growing consumer demands require a more customer-centric logistic service. Okay. The growing consumer demands require a more consumer-centric logistic service. Right? It is not because we want to do it. It is because they are growing in consumer demands because people want more and more and more things. So they need to be more consumer-centric logistics. Diana, can you help me with the first line? Yes. Production of goods has increased over the years to match the raising demand from consumers resulting. Okay, very good. Thank you, Diana. Production of goods has increased over the years to match the rising demand from consumers resulting. So it is not that, uh, do you imagine that when, uh, when Chicken Campero started, they needed to have a thousand restaurants? No. No, right? Because they were, just, they were just starting. And it was in the center of San Salvador, right? And you were like, yeah, to make a line to go to Chicken Campero, right? Campero like, Chicken. <laughs> Campero Chicken, teacher. <laughs> to Campero Chicken. So imagine that. In At the beginning, oh. I remember my parents, mm -hmm. my parents used to tell me, right? Mi, mi papá me contaban que te tenías que parar a la par de la mesa para esperar mm -hmm. a que otro terminara de comer. Yes. And, and it was like... Mm -hmm. Ya termina. <laughs> actually, teacher, actually... <laughs> It's oh, very similar. Very similar, yes. Yes. <laughs> so That's they currently food court. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you go to food court, it's true. It happens. Yeah. So I think we haven't we haven't fulfilled this consumer resulting because it continues increasing, right? And it has a rise in demand because you need more things because you have a lot of people, right? What happens on the on the mall on Christmas? My God, there is a lot of people. You cannot even walk. They are crowded. Right? In they Mother's are, Day. And for Mother's Day, the restaurants, my God. It's like, uh -huh, and for Father's Day? <laughs> it's alone. <Yeah. laughs> No, it's for Father's same. Day, it's also, it's also the all, all the, the, all the day restaurants day. are empty. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but what about, what about for the Secretary's Day? Yeah, the, all the office wants to celebrate the Secretary. And every day, it's like, Mira, ya hablaste a Marinita. King Marinita, oh. The Secretary. <gasps> Ay, Marinita, I have a happy, happy Secretary's Day. In the end. <laughs> so you see just for have benefits. <laughs> uh, just for just for yeah, for the benefits. It says <laughs> this lead to business being unable to manage the production and transport of the goods efficiency, right? It's going to lead the company to look for ways to manage this type of production and transport the goods uh, for sure in a more efficient way, efficiently. And it says, the biggest challenge came from e-commerce. What is the meaning of e-commerce? Online. Commercio electronic. Online commerce. commerce. Good. Good. When do you do think, you think this thing happened? When do you think the e-commerce exploded? When do you think the e-commerce 
exploded on the market? And Black Friday. Okay, Black Fridays, good. What else? In Christmas. For Christmas, good. And when did it became, wait, wait, sorry. When did it become a famous, the e-commerce? When did it start becoming famous? With social media. With social media, specifically for the pandemic, right? Yes. When the pandemic started, the e-commerce just exploded because everybody, even people with small uh, businesses, had to go online because they needed to survive and they needed to find a way to make this type of commerce with the products. We could find anything that we needed online. Yes. And some people were taking advantage as we talked about it la, some days ago, right? Los que se aprovecharon del comercio. On, on that moment, right? With the masks and the alcohol. Expensive masks. <laughs> Expensive masks. Okay, yeah. Hoy que la veo a unos 50. Me enojo conmigo mío. <laughs> and so, for sure, it was the moment for the e-commerce, right? That they led to a never seen before demand of goods, right? This happened on the pandemic. We saw a never seen before demand for goods because people wanted things. People wanted food, people wanted the supermarket, people wanted clothing, everything. And the only way to get it was online, okay? Especially the retail sector, the ones that were getting to distribute, right? This was the most uh, interested sector of the market, the retailers. And for sure, we are going to study a little bit also on the benefits of using a 3PL provider. Let me see. I am going to ask uh, my friend. Hello, Normita. Uh, can you help us with the benefits? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. Can you help us to read the benefits of using a 3PL provider? Okay, three PR system on um, supply chain helps take tackles, small, tackles, uh -huh. tackles modern problem in supply chain with technology. Okay, so it says it helps. It helps uh, tackles modern problems in supply chain with technology, right? Tackles is like a, como jugar, incluir, right? Or lidiar con, right? Tackles mother problems in supply chain, right? It helps you to actually hit the, the, the problem, right? To find a solution and for sure you say like, no, aquí está, aquí tengo la solución, boom, right? They tackle mother problems in the supply chain because they have, for sure, the specific system for it. Thank you, Norma. Let's continue here. It says, as a company grows, go ahead with me. As a company grows, as a company grows, as a company grows, as a company grows the, cost the cost of maintaining the warehouses, the cost of maintaining warehouses, 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 shipping goods, warehouses. Shipping shipping goods. goods. faster fulfillment, Faster fulfillment. Faster fulfillment. Faster fulfillment. Etc. Grows with it. Grows with it. Grows with it. Ok, cuando Grows estemos leyendo, cuando estemos leyendo un párrafo, siempre, recuerden que leemos hasta el punto y en el punto nos detenemos. Okay. Siempre que tenemos comas, hacemos unas pausas breves, pero tenemos que leer de corrido hasta el punto. Cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés, lo más común es que hacemos lo siguiente y decimos, as a company grows the cost of maintaining warehouses, shipping goods, faster fulfillment, etc. grows with it. That's the way we read in some cases when we are learning English. But remember that we read up to the period, 
right? Leemos hasta los puntos. And we say, as a company grows, the cost of maintaining warehouses, shipping goods, faster fulfillment, etc., grows with it, right? And you stop. Here, for example, okay, as a company grows, comma, as a company grows, the cost of maintaining warehouses, shipping goods, faster fulfillment, etc., grows with it. Y hasta aquí nos detenemos. Practiquemos la, la oración. As a company grows, the cost of maintaining warehouses, shipping goods, faster fulfillment, etc., grows with it. Grows with it. Being able to offload your entire logistics operation to a 3PL provider reduces a company's overall operating cost as the provider takes care of the warehousing, packaging, fulfillment, and distribution for the company. Here's the stuff. Hasta aquí para la oración. So you say, being able to offload your entire logistics operation through a 3PL provider reduces a company's overall operating cost as the provider takes care of warehousing, packaging, fulfillment, and distribution for the company. Go ahead. Being able to distribution distribution remember it's not distribu distribu distribution no right distribution <laughs> fulfillment fulfillment packaging packaging warehousing warehousing operating operating companies overall companies overall cost cost reduces Reduces. Like reduce fast, fast right? Reduce. Reduce fast, fast. I remember it, right? Reduce. Reduce. Cre creyeron que lo habían olvidado, ¿eh? Logistics. 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 Operation. 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 Being Operation. able. Being able. able. Being able to offload your entire logistics operation to a 3PL provider reduces a company's overall operating costs as the provider takes care of warehousing, packaging, fulfillment, and distribution for the company. Being able to Okay, so every time that you read a paragraph, a page, an article, anything, remember that you have to read up to the period. La idea no es que tan rápido lean, sino que tan claro lo hagan. So, because you can say, as a company grows with it. Huh? I don't understand. What? And people are going to say, like, what did you say? What did you say? Come on. It was like, huh? What did you say? No, I don't get it, right? You say, as a company grows, and you have to articulate, articulate, right? As a company grows, the cost of maintaining warehouses, shipping goods, faster fulfillment, etc., grows with it, right? You have to articulate your mouth, exactly like the video that I sent you some weeks ago, right? Que hay que articular muy bien, hay que pronunciar correcto, the right? Phonemes. The phonemes, right? The phonemes are important. So... That is something that you need to keep in mind. Siempre que lean algo, siempre recuérdenlo, siempre eh, hay que hacerlo correctamente. Okay. okay. I have a little exercise for you here. And it says, we offer free beep on orders to customers in North America. We offer free beep on orders to customers in North America. What is the correct word? Ship, shipping, ship. Shipping, shipping, ship. Shipping. 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 
We shipping. often shipping. see shipping on orders mm -hmm. to customers in North America, right? So you say that the correct one here is shipping. 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 What about ship? Why not ship? For example, I oh. ship um, something, I don't know. Okay. It's not the, 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 the main verb. verb. It's not the main that's verb. What is what is ship? The main verb. What is ship? It's, it's a, a name. It's a name. It's a noun, oh, right? Yeah. This is a noun. Yeah. It's a noun, yeah. right? And in this wow. case, in this case, we is the better ship. It's the better no. Yeah. The best it's, option. Yeah. The, the better, no. The better is la más mejor. And it's just not yeah. possible in English, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the better. Say the best. The best option here is shipping, shipping. right? Shipping, because it's the main verb, right? We offer free shipping on orders to customers in North America, right? The, the most like appropriate form is shipping. shipping. In this case, it's what is the meaning of shipping here? Envio. Envio, right? Is it a verb or a noun or a complement? What is it in this case? Um, Analyze the sentence. Verb. What is the main verb of the sentence? Verb. ¿Cuál sería el verbo de la oración? Offer. 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 We offer free shipping, right? In this case, it would be like a noun, right? And bill. Uh, On sorry. orders to customers in North America, right? Very good. Shipping. Before we go to the next exercise, I will call my final attendance. Antes de que me regañen ahí mis estudiantes. It's 942. Okay? Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Okay? Let's go. Carolina. Carolinita. Por Carolinita. ¿Cómo está Carolina? ¿Cómo se siente? Mal. Haciendo, haciendo malabares para no dormir. Ay, Claudia, ya vamos a terminar. Nos faltan 15 minutillos todavía. Ya casi, Carolinita, ya casi. Ya lo voy a poner a bailar, espérame. Claudia María. No me I funciona, teach her. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, darling. Christian Natalie. I'm here, teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present, teacher. Jose Carlos. Present, teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Present, Rodrigo. There you go. Pobre Jose Rodrigo, siempre lo hago que haga malabares con el micrófono. Juan de Dios. Present, teacher. Linda Ivette. Present, teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Angelito. Eh, hey, Miguelito. Se nos fue. Hmm, no salió tan angelito, mire. Se nos fue. Nelson. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Thank you. ¿Qué se nos hizo Rosa Beatriz? Andaba buscando hace rato. I have a problem with this phone. Ok, don't worry. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. And Bill My Bet. Bill Mitam. Okay, and here we go. Marlene. Marlene Nicole. Nos acaba de vender productos y ya se nos fue a pagar, miren. Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you. And Dani. Hi, Jen. Thank you very much. Okay, so before we go to the next one, let's go and analyze the next sentence. Cha -cha -chan. Let me see. We go with 
the following. Okay. Let me share it with all of you. Here it is. What about this one? Samsung is very successful because they understand beep preferences. What do you think could be a very good word? Uh -huh. Customers, what other option can we have there? Consumer. Consumer, good. What is another option that we can have? People. People, People. right? Clients. Clients, okay, clients, people. People preferences. In this case, well, the, the option that I have here for you, the option that I have chosen, it's consumers, right? Consumers uh, preferences. That is the main option, right? Sansom is very successful because they understand consumer preferences, right? That is the sentence that I have there for you. What about this one? Can you help me to read the sentence? General Electric is one of the largest, of the largest companies in the companies world. In the world. In the world. Mm -hmm. Is the largest successful companies in the world. It's successful, aha. Uh -huh. But it's another option that you can have there. that they do everything. They say, like, ah, look at this. Uh -huh. Electronic. Company. Electronic companies? Mm, not really. Prefer? I no. no. I do everything with the my world. own hands. Oh, look, huh? a refrigerator. Ta-da! That's what General Electric does. Innovation. Oh, look, we did it. The device for mm. manufacturing. There you go, very good. Ding, ding, ding. Estrellita para Claudia. Cha, cha, cha. There you go, <laughs> manufacturing, right? Right, very, very good job, star for you, very good. General Electric is one of the largest manufacturing companies in the world, right? Because they do everything from scratch, from zero, right? They do every single thing at their company, right? They are the number one manufacturing companies in the world. Very good job. What about the next one? I have another one for you. It's so successful that smaller Walmart is so successful than a smaller company. Find it hard to compete. Walmart is so successful. That smaller business. Here we have another. Here we have many options. We have a smaller businesses, a smaller companies or smaller markets markets stores the one that i had there for you was retailers retailers walmart is so successful that smaller retailers find it hard to compete right that for sure they are not going to be able to make it possible right in that case so walmart is very successful and a smaller retailers find it hard to compete. Excellent. So this was a very good challenge for the little examples that we have there. Okay. In the last minutes that I have for the class, I had some things prepared and we're going to have some interaction. Check on the questions that I have here. I did I did the attendance already. And <laughs> I have this question for you. What is the most difficult part of your job? Would you like someone to do it for you? Yes, and yes or no. What is the most difficult part of your job? Think about it. And I need you to write some ideas on this, okay? Escriban algunas ideas en su, en su cuaderno acerca de esta respuesta. What is the most difficult part of your job? Jordan. 
Jordan. Keep calm. Keep calm. <laughs> what is the most difficult part of your job? <laughs> Le doy un minuto para que escriban sus ideas en su cuaderno. Go ahead. Escriban sus ideas en su cuaderno. No, no se vale llorar, ¿ok? It's the most difficult part of my job, teacher. <laughs> what is the most difficult part of your job? Write some ideas. And when you have your ideas, raise your hand. El que tenga las ideas, me levanta la mano y me las comparte. Okay, write it down and let me know. Okay, escriban sus ideas y me las comparten. Ajá, manita, manita. Okay, Jorge Humberto, tell me, what is the most difficult part of your job? Um, I have two, uh, yes. two no. things or two ideas. Uh, the first one is get the time with the with the with the boss to take a decision about an, an issue. Okay. So that is the first one, to take time, uh, well, to make time, to make the time with your boss to do an important decision. What about the second one? You told me that you had two. Uh, the second one I think is uh, have, uh, have, maybe, have several things to do at the same time. Okay, yeah, my life had several things to do at the same time. Would you like to have a, a provider to help you with this part of your job? Would you like to have a consultant or a person in charge to do these specific parts of your job? Uh, in, in this part, definitely, because uh, in her, uh, it's about money. Then, then you you need to take the, the proof. Okay. The so you would like to have a service to do this type of things at your job, right? Que hubiera un tripl para este tipo de situación. No que empaquen y entreguen, sino que hablen y resuelvan. That would be a, a cool thing. Definitely. Okay, thank you, Jorge Humberto. Very nice, very nice part of your participation. I need another volunteer for this question. Manuel, okay, I saw your hand. Yes, teacher. What is the most difficult part of your job? Okay, I consider the, the most difficult part in my, in my job uh, is when the work is is hard, for example, the 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 end of month. Uh huh. At the end of the month. At the end of the month, yes, because um, and in this in this date uh, we we have to. We have to visit different different clients and different uh -huh. banks uh, to to take different documents and and we got the best decision. What is the 
the more important to the do. most important thing to the do. The most important thing to do. Yes. Uh, for example, I need to to take uh, uh, invoice. Uh -huh. invoice. Invoices. Invoices or visit visit the bank. We in, 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 in this in this moment we have a trip here. We need to trip here. You need you need but to have a trip system, right? System, or four or four people. or five <laughs> a five yes. PL. You need a five PL yes. to do all these At things. The end of the month. Okay, fantastic. So in that case, so you need someone to help you with that one. Yes. Ok, everybody, I really need you to take notes, right? En ejercicios como este, es muy importante que ustedes desarrollen también su escritura. Así como, como dábamos el ejemplo. Eh? I consider, I think, I guess, eh, uh, from my point of view, what I want to explain, some of the most difficult things about my job, right? Ya crear oraciones un poco más complejas. No solo, eh, por ejemplo, si me dicen, what is the most difficult part of your job? Oh. Eh, uh, lecture students. Cuando me toca regañar a un estudiante, cuando me toca sentarme y decirle, we need to talk in, in, in the serious things, right? In the most difficult parts. But it, that is like the most difficult part of my job, right? But if I say like lecturing a student, no, you say like, well, I consider that the most difficult part of being a teacher is when you need to sit down and lecture a student because you need to talk face to face with the person and maybe some things are not going to like him or her, but you need to face them in order for the person to improve. That it's a complete answer, okay? Ahí ya me da una respuesta completa. I have the last one for the night. Le voy a pasar la última de la noche y le voy a mandar una para tarea. What is the best part of your job? Don't tell me payday, okay? When they pay. <laughs> Yay! When they pay. 15, 15 and 30. 15 and 30. <laughs> the best part of my job is the day off. The days of a people. <laughs> Holidays. 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 Vacation. Holidays. Home office. Home office. Okay. The, those things that you mentioned are the best part of working for that company. But what is the best part of your job? I can tell you that the best part of my job is when I see a student producing the language. When I see a student progressing on the language and when I see one of my students reaching the goals that he or she wants, that's the best part of my job, right? And when I, when I meet new people, when I share, when I spend time with you, so that's the best part of my job. What is the best part of your job? What is the one that you enjoy the most? Write it down. Uh, huh? Then uh, the best part of my job is to be part of a biggest, biggest project in, in the country, maybe uh, the last one about, about a dam. It was uh, maybe 40 years old or, or 15. Years. 50. Then 15 years. And you were part of it. Yes, that, that uh, I think is the, the best part. Of your job. So the best part of your job is to be able to be part of big projects for the country. Okay. To be yes. part of big projects of the country. Good, that's the best part of your job. What about the rest? For me, uh, the best part of my job, um, so I am a production planner and material coordinator. <laughs> and the best part of my job is when the materials are completed from, uh, for each aircraft because I work with aircraft. And because every single week I need to do a presentation with percentages with good numbers. Hey, it's okay. So 
it, that is a very good part of the job, right? When you do presentations with green percentages, right? Yes. Not with red ones, because with the red ones, it's like bye bye, right? So that's the best part of my job. <laughs> when everything goes well, right? And yeah. when some things go wrong, I mean, it helps you to improve, right? That's good. Thank you, Christian. Christian, one more. Diana, go ahead. Okay. Uh, there are two best parts of my job. One is the opportunity of connect with different kind of people because every day I interview a lot of persons. And the second is when I give the to the candidates the news of the process and I can tell them they are or they were selected to a position. Hey, that's a very good thing. When you give news to people and they get excited and they say, thank you very much. I really want it. That is a great part. I, I really love that part of my job too. When they say, hey, you are part of this and they get very excited. So for tomorrow, people, we are going to we are going to talk about these two questions. I need you to write them down. Necesito que las escriban y las completen para que mañana me traigan una respuesta completa acerca de ellas. What is a job you wouldn't take? What is a job that you wouldn't take? Even if it is the last one on the world, you make tortillas. But you wouldn't take it. It's like, no, no, no. Can the second... Like yeah, the one that you don't like it. And the second one is, what is your dream job? So I need you to answer these two questions for tomorrow. What is a job you wouldn't take, even if it is the last option? And what is your dream job? Those are the two questions that we are going to use for the class tomorrow. Complete the second, answers. The, sorry. Okay. The, the first second. one, what is a job you wouldn't take? Okay. A minimum of 10 lines, okay? The mínimo, mínimo, una 10 líneas explicándome eh, la respuesta. And what is a job you wouldn't take? And the, the next one is, what is your dream job? Okay, that will be for tomorrow. Well, my dear class, I am going to stay for a couple of minutes with Miguel Angel. And for the rest of you, it was a great pleasure to see you. Be ready with your answers for tomorrow. And we're going to start talking about the warehouse, okay? Have a beautiful night. And I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a beautiful Good night. Bye-bye. Hey, and Miguelito. Teacher, tomorrow I will connect late because hey. I have a meeting at my short well, Rocio, if you want, you can stay now because Miguel is not here. So you cannot, you can have the free day on Friday. I mean, <laughs> as you have oh, this, you, you don't have your one-on-one -on, -one on Friday. So you can stay uh, here. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's have it right now. Okay. It's just a couple of minutes. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Bye, Mr. Juan de Dios. Thank you, Danny. But I don't have, well, I have one of my questions, but I, I don't have enough time to, to think about all. No, don't worry, don't worry. Questions. Tell me okay. about the questions that, you, well, first of all, thank you very mm -hmm. much for staying here. Thank you very much. Okay. Sorry for Mr. Miguel that he had to leave the class. He was his chance. <laughs> so, uh, Rocio, Veronica, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of things that are important on the one-on-one. -on -one. First of all, it's to know how, uh, how do you feel being part of the classes. How do you feel in classes? How do you feel your progress? How do you feel that the teaching is going and everything? So I want to listen okay. to that part of your of your opinion. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, well, to be honest, I feel really, really happy to be here because um, the last module, I, uh -huh. well, I, uh, I was, um, insecure to be here because I I didn't have the well I the, the motion to be here and I was a little frustrated to be honest but right now uh, uh, today I feel I'm learning and I I don't know I feel that I I, I, I didn't 
feel the time of our class because it's the, the time do I. is hard. It's 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 Yeah, it, so, it flies. I feel yeah. It so flies. The, the yeah. same thing happens and, to me. <laughs> Yes, exactly. And I I feel really um proud of that because I I I I think I'm learning more vocabulary, especially I think this vocabulary, this vocabulary uh, let me apply at my work. And and well, I I think I think very good and I honestly um I will continue because uh, I, 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 I wasn't sure about to be to, to be to be here, but now and also I I love your 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 presentations are <laughs> yeah because you make me feel very happy all classes. Hey, and, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, feel I feel glad because of thank you very much well i i honestly do my best because what i consider is like what is the type of class that i would like to receive and that's when i when i plan and everything and i do these interactions and all this because that's something that i would like to be part of because i wouldn't like to be part of the okay aquí está esta grammar, mire, llena, la revisa, la, me avisa. no right it's like something that you have you have to enjoy the fact of learning so that's why I, I try to do my best at the moment of teaching what is the question that you had prepared what is the first question that you had veronica uh well i think uh i'm confused when i need to use the the word uh, to and with Oh, for uh -huh. example, uh, I love to be here with you, mm -hmm. or I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. in, some, in some cases, I doubt to, to how to use to or with. I'm okay. not sure. About, okay, about so I am, I am going to uh, investigate and I will send you the information about it. I really love okay. to ask the students, like if they have a specific questions on things, because they, it can give me the chance to investigate and for sure to complement the knowledge with something that I can find. Something important on how to use two, it's like if you're going to use an infinitive, right? If you're going to use an infinitive, for sure you need to use two, right? I need to talk to you, I need to see you, I need to watch mm -hmm. some things, I need to analyze the material, right? Two, because you're using an infinitive. But the mm -hmm. when to use two and when to use, with in a specific case and anything other uh, well any other specific area that you have that you want to improve rocio veronica mm, um the the third condition the third is, conditional uh -huh. yeah they are very difficult to me i have i well i need to because i think i i don't practice that to be honest so I think that is the, the, the big problem. When I when I hear some in, in a movie or in a video, I I, I think a lot and I'm what? <laughs> and you I analyze. To, uh -huh. I, yeah, and I try to analyze and in, in, in structure. Okay, I the third conditional? Yeah, third condition and yeah, some the structures for i need to to improve in the in the structure of the sentences the like structures the, of sentences uh -huh. since, uh, especially in the uh past perfect uh, or present perfect okay. and uh -huh, yeah but um, yeah, about the 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 top the topic that we we learn no just when we um let me see oh my god let me have this take a no please Mm, no, I think um, some, 
uh, for example, the the sentences that we we you chose us the you uh, showed the final, us the showed class, us uh -huh. uh, show us <laughs> at the end of the class. And uh, there are some cases that uh, that I confuse with the with the correct answer because okay, uh -huh. I I do some quiz or test and there are similar like you uh, like you the ones showed. that I presented. Yes, and I have problems with what what is the correct answer? Yes, and, in some cases uh, when when you have sentences like those, I mean you have different options, right? You have different options mm -hmm. like the ones on with we have the consumer, the client and everything. But in those cases that is not that that hard because you need to be and uh, you need to find the most logical way for for the answer right like oh, in yeah. the case that i gave you ship and sheep and shipment right uh -huh. you say like ship uh -huh. is barco y sheep uh -huh. is oveja right you say like ah ¿cómo voy a poner un barco, una oveja ahí? so that's like the most logical <laughs> thing right and you have to find it the the logical ways to the for for the sentences to be completed okay. right so in general i am going to get some information about the topics that you requested right like two with the third conditionals the mm -hmm. structures of sentences i am planning to have a, a some structural sentences for you to build up because i noticed okay. that that is also something difficult for many of you right cuando le doy opciones de, yeah. de palabras y tienen que armar una pregunta o una respuesta so i, I noticed that one that it's difficult and past perfect and present perfect. Yeah. okay so i am going mm -hmm. to look for uh, the information and i'm going to send it in general right for everybody in the group so maybe some others are going to take advantage of it as well well rosio veronica for me okay. it has been a pleasure i don't know if you have any further question or any further comment uh no not this time i said anything okay <laughs> I, I said i said everything <laughs> everything everything sorry yeah, because anything is like <laughs> nothing <laughs> Not, nothing okay yeah yeah thank you veronica yeah, have too. a beautiful night uh, thank you for your time and i'm going to see you tomorrow in class okay have a beautiful okay. night bye-bye thank, thank you very much thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. have a beautiful night